have been to a hill station to watch the sunrise, then you must have noticed how beautifully the color of the sky changes from navy blue to warm yellow. Again, while strolling across a beach, you must have noticed that as the sun sets in the sea below the horizon, the color of the sky changes from warm yellow to deep blue. Now, the sunrise and sunset are amazing to watch, but they do not occur abruptly. Rather, there is a gradual transition in the sky as we can see here. Now, a few hours just before the sunrise and after the sunset, the sky is not completely dark nor it is lit up brightly. Rather, we can observe a phase of obscured and soft light. Do you know what is this period called? The period of partial light before sunrise and after sunset is known as twilight. So twilight indicates a gradual transition in the sky as there is a change from day to night and vice versa. And as we have just seen in the video, in case of twilight, the sky is neither completely dark nor it is brightly lit up. Rather, we can observe that the sky is lit up by a very soft and warm light. And this time of the day when the sky is dimly lit is known as twilight. Now, let's see how and when the twilight occurs. Imagine an observer is standing at position X on the Earth's surface. It is the time of sunset and the sun is at position A where it is parallel to the horizon. The sun rays reach the Earth's surface directly and illuminates the sky with bright light. Now suppose the sun shifts further downwards to position B. At this position, the observer will not be able to watch the sun as the sun has set down. At position B, the sun rays does not strike the earth's surface directly, rather they strike the layers of atmosphere just above the earth's surface. Here the scattering of light is more as the sun rays passes through the atmosphere. The sky in this case is partially lit up due to scattering of light. Now, as the sun shifts further downwards to position C, the sun rays does not reach the earth's surface directly, rather they hit the thin upper layers of atmosphere. Here, the scattering of light is less and therefore the sky fades out to complete darkness. So, this position from A to C refers to the time of partial light or twilight. Now imagine the same observer is standing at position Y on the Earth's surface. The sun is at position R, which is far below the horizon. It is the position of the sun before sunrise, so the observer will not be able to see the sun. The sun rays strikes the thin upper layers of atmosphere, so the scattering of light is less and the sky is very partially lit up. Now suppose the sun shifts upwards to position Q. Here the sun rays reach the layers of atmosphere just above the earth's surface and in this case the scattering of light is more compared to the first case and therefore the sky is lit up not brightly but partially. Now as the sun shifts to position P the observer will be able to see a rising sun, that is, it is the time of sunrise. Here, the sun rays strikes the earth's surface directly and illuminates the sky with bright light. So, this phase of the sky of partial light from P to R is known as twilight. So, in the previous two video, we understood that Twilight occurs when the sun is below the horizon. So according to this picture, these two positions when the sun is below the horizon indicates twilight. Now morning twilight refers to the period between dawn that is first appearance of light before sunrise and sunrise. So this period refers to the morning twilight. Now we know that due to 
rotation of the earth the sun seems to rise from the east and set in the west now since in this part of the picture we can see sun rise so suppose this is the east and here as the sun set it is the west now during the day we know that the sun moves from east to west now suppose the sun is now at this position that is it is the time of sunset now as the sun shifts below the horizon the period of twilight begins evening twilight refers to the period between sunset and dusk that is the last appearance of light in the sky after sunset now specifically we can say that twilight occurs before sunrise and after sunset when the sun is 18 degree below the horizon so twilight indicates the transition between day and night that is this transition phase is twilight and twilight occurs when the sun is 18 degree below the horizon so twilight occurs twice a day once in the morning just before the sunrise and once in the evening just after the sunset now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this twilight occurs when the sun is 18 degree below the horizon 18 degree above the horizon 0 degree with the horizon or perpendicular to the horizon what do you think yes the correct answer is twilight occurs when the sun is 18 degree below the horizon so the correct answer is 18 degree below the horizon now if you remember while watching the video on sunrise and sunset we saw that during twilight there was a gradual transition in the sky from warm yellow to deep blue and therefore we can demarcate or differentiate the phase of twilight based on the color rendered to the sky just a few minutes after the sunset the sky is lit up with a golden yellow hue so this early phase of twilight when the sky acquires a golden yellow color is known as the golden hour now golden hour occurs when the sun is 6 degree below the horizon that is golden hour refers to the early phase of twilight and it occurs when the sun is 6 degree below the horizon so if this is the entire phase of twilight then just the first hour after sunset and before sunrise indicates the golden hour and this happens when the sun is 6 degree below the horizon now in case of golden hour the sky acquires a warm yellow color because the declination of the sun is just a few kilometers away from the horizon that is the sun is 6 degree below the horizon so the scattering of light is more as the sun rays strike the layers of atmosphere just above the earth surface so here the scattering of light is more and therefore the sky is illuminated with a golden yellow color now as the sun's position shifts further downwards or as the sun further moves away from the horizon then the scattering of light is less and the sky has a faint glow or specifically we can see that the sky has a bluish tinge now this is the late phase of twilight and this occurs when the sun is significantly below the horizon that is the position of the sun is between 6 to 12 degree below the horizon now look at this picture carefully in this picture we can see that this is the late phase of twilight when the sun is around 12 degree below the horizon so the sun is somewhere 
here that is it is 12 degree below the horizon so this period that is the late phase of twilight refers to blue hour so according to this picture this golden patch refers to the golden hour and we can see here that the blue hour comes immediately after the golden hour when the sun has shifted to 6 to 12 degree below the horizon and this late phase of twilight is known as blue hour because the sky is illuminated or acquires a bluish tinge. Now both these golden hour and blue hour are ideal for photography. So till now we have understood the meaning of twilight and how twilight occurs. We also learnt about different phases of twilight like golden hour and blue hour. Now let me tell you that the duration of twilight is not uniform throughout the globe. Rather the duration of twilight varies with latitudes. Now the duration of twilight varies with latitudes because the angle of incidence of the sun rays varies with latitude. That is the sun rays strikes perpendicularly to the horizon at the low latitudes that is especially in the equatorial region. So in this picture we can see that near the equator the sun rays is perpendicular to this dotted line which is the line of horizon. Now at higher altitudes the sun rays are not perpendicular. Rather the sun rays make oblique angle with the horizon. So here we can see that the sun rays are not perpendicular at higher latitudes but they make some angle with the horizon. Now when the sun is perpendicular to the horizon, the sun sets down quickly below the horizon. Whereas in higher latitudes, we can see that the sun rays make some angle with the horizon. So here the scattering of light is more and therefore twilight prevails for a longer duration. So at lower latitudes, the duration of twilight is less as the sun rays is perpendicular to the horizon, whereas in higher latitudes, the duration of twilight is more as the sun rays is not perpendicular, rather it is inclined at some angle with the horizon. So this is how the duration of twilight varies with latitudes. So in today's video, we understood the meaning of twilight. Twilight refers to the period of partial light before sunrise and after sunset. Then we understood how twilight occurs. We also learnt about different phases of twilight that is golden hour and blue hour. And finally, we learnt that the duration of twilight varies with latitudes. In our next video, we will discuss about the revolution of the earth. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.